This is actually crazy nostalgic. I remember I used to go to so many places like this when I was little. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hell of vivid memory that this thing reminded me of. This is probably the moment where I like fell in love with science. Mm -hmm. It was in Woodward mm -hmm. and we were learning about volume displacement. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, if you like take a, a cup of water and then put rocks in it, the water will, level will rise. But you have to learn it. It's not like so basic that like people know it by default. You have to observe that in the world. A baby getting into like a bathtub or whatever won't realize that the water level will rise with them in it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like something you actually have to learn and we we're learning it in Woodward either kindergarten or first grade It wasn't second grade and the teacher was like repeatedly going like matter takes up space Like constantly like that was the phrase mm -hmm. Trying to drill that into us and it was the three states of matter and what she did is she took a cup like of air and nothing in it and she put it in a little bin of water and she put it down and there was still air inside because air gets trapped and I like put my hand in there and there's air in there and I'm like, this is so weird. Because before you know how this kind of thing works, when mm -hmm. you're still exploring, you're like, air is nothing. You know, air, there's like, you can crush the air. Yeah. Why isn't the water going in? And that was so confusing. It was like, oh, there's more to explore here on like the nature of how this stuff works. That like got me so excited. That one looks, that reminds me of um, like a Swiss roll, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That looks like just another rock. Like this looks like nothing special at all. <laughs> yeah, we saw like a bunch of them today. But it's garnet. That's my like birthstone. Really? Yeah. It's just a normal rock. <laughs> Says a lot about you. Mine's aquamarine. This looks like Turkish delight. Yeah. <laughs> On that one, number eleven. That deep red looks crazy. Number eleven, right there. Hey, that's garnet. That eleven. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's the first one that that caught my eye right here. I think, imagine someone like robs this place. They take all the stones, and they come back and they're like, "Wait, which one was which?" <laughs> oh, punch these are. Oh, I love opal. Opal is one of my favorites because the. Really? Yeah, those are all opal. Look at like the the colors, yeah. the way they shift. Yeah. Especially in sunlight, it looks crazy. Yeah, it Especially looks black crazy. opal. If one of these are black opal, maybe three. Yeah, that's it. That's my favorite. Three? Black opal, yeah. When people yeah, make, it crazy. Into, make it into jewelry and when it shines in the sunlight, the light pierces through it. These are everywhere. I have a piece of, piece of it, rock, like quartz and this at home. Purple. Yeah, this place rocks. <laughs> I went to White Sands National Park in New Mexico. The sand is made out of this. Water erosion on gypsum. 